So here we are back again. I've got the paint stirred up. Didn't take long. It's a bit gone out of the um, both um, containers there, so it makes it easier to work with. So here I have my flattening agent. I also I've used a dollar store brand uh, uh, a dollar store brand um, uh, mixer or a measuring cup, and I found that if I went with half and half the last time, it worked good. So. I had 100 mils of one and 100 of the other to make 200. It was a smaller spot, so I think I'll use uh, 150 and 150 this time. So there's the flattening agent. As you can see, it's just basically like a transparent kind of, almost no opaque kind of uh, uh, brown liquid. Doesn't really look like anything until you mix it in with with the uh, actual paint that you'll be using. And so we're going to use the actual paint will bring that up to the 300 mark so over half and half down and watch the line there that looks right on okay good so now what we're going to do is we're going to I think I'll use the uh, I will reuse this stick because basically it's going to come out and dry off there anyway as you can see now I'm getting a pretty nice white color hard to tell from here exactly how much gloss it's got you really need to get it on the walls inside the boat before you can tell. And even you actually really need to get it dried before you can tell. There you go. That looks good. So there's no kind of swirls through that so that you can see through to the, uh, there's the nice, that you can see through to the um, flattening agent. That looks quite nice, actually. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, so that's good. We'll get that stir stick wiped and out of there and then we'll take it aboard the boat and we'll start again.